pressure as Taz moves forward. Kyrie gonna be able to jump in, but the Thorn Rose is there, and the Cutthroat takes him down. First blood for Onyx. Down below, though, there's already a little bit of a skirmish there as Taz will be taken down. And it should be an uncontested turtle again. Look at the Fanny, though. Look at Kyrie. What the heck again? Assassinating one of the frontliners like it's nothing. So Onyx got full control, and they're using it very efficiently right oh. here. Another assassination onto Hijaman now. Kyrie! He gets out! Gordon, but Kyrie finds Taz and dreams! That's a roamer. That's your frontliner. If he's the leader like that. But if you're 8,000 gold ahead, you can do it, Kyrie! What? Say goodbye to Hijuman, the only man with a kill on the side of Evo's Legend. But CW does too much damage. Crossbow tank not going to be ready, but now it's going to be Kyrie who jumps in. Now, the Thorn Rose able to connect oh. for Keyboy. So it's going to the back oh, It's going to be Sans, one of them without blast, all to the back line. With CW doing some damage, Kyrie takes Taz down. The them without blast back to respond it over to Onik. Evo's Legend once again able to defend, but the crossbow of Tang onto Brand, taking him down. Dreams, Psychots, and Hijime against CW and Sans. They're gonna jump in. CW still able to kite away right now, but Psychot should be able to deal with him. Unless Kyrie has something to say about it. Game one for Onik. 12 minutes into the grand finals. Mirko Arashi. 12 minutes. This is supposed to be the two toughest, best teams in the playoffs, and Onik made it look beyond easy. What was that, man?